So in September 2020, I decided to take a trip to Alberta with my family, and that includes my husband's parents, myself, and my brother-in-law. And this is at the Toronto Pearson Airport. It was pretty empty. We had to wear masks the second we got at the airport. Um, I was super hungry. It was an early flight, so we got to Morton's. Here I am um, going towards the um, plane looking for my place, and I just want to show you how empty the the flight was it was quite safe they give us a little baggie um, with all the stuff in it I'll show you in a bit but here I am sanitizing the seat and <laughs> making sure every corner is empty and my husband is recording me thinking I'm completely crazy but I was super terrified of getting coronavirus and I still am to be honest so here's the baggie that Air Canada gave us that water pretzel sanitizer mask gloves wipes a bunch of stuff and they didn't really do any um, service and we arrived at, at Edmonton Airport and then we rented a car from Enterprise and he and headed our way to the Edmonton Mall. Now I don't really have a video of that but I'll show you um, that we arrived at Fairmont Jasper. It is a beautiful property and the check-in was actually at the entrance itself. Um, it is located um, at Bevort. Let me try my French. Bevert Lake, um, beautiful lake. What a beautiful resort! It was absolutely stunning, and the the clean air and um, it was such a nice nice place to stay at. Um, here is a little video that's coming up, and that's um, just of the room, simple room, nothing fancy. But um, I I felt the water there was a little strange. Here's a little bit of the lobby. It had about, I think, four or five restaurants. You had to wear a mask, obviously, um, so you couldn't take that off. Um, but the restaurant was decent, and again, it was facing the lake that I showed earlier. So we arrived a little late because we got stuck because of a rental car. Um, so we drove through Malayan Canyon. Malayan Canyon. Um, that's Bridge 5 and 6. Here's probably the fifth one. And then we drove to gate one and two. Um, it was really trippy to look down the canyon, so I don't have a lot of videos um, of myself at the canyon looking down because I was getting really scared and I was scared I was going to drop my phone like this one. It's really trippy, but it was super pretty. Wow, you know, the creations of this world. Amazing, mashallah. So nice. And uh, after that, we went home rested a bit and headed out for dinner at Raven Bistro that everybody talks about on um, on online. The food was okay. Here's a little bit of pictures of the food. That's the salmon. Um, it was decent. Nothing extravagant in my opinion. That's a super healthy bowl that my mother-in-law got. Um, just so here we are on day two. It was a gorgeous morning. There was some snowfall overnight in the mountains. It was crystal clear. Um, the sun was shining bright and it was so much chill in the, in the air. It was absolutely stunning. I mean, words cannot describe how beautiful it was. We had breakfast at the Fairmont itself. I actually got a kid's omelet, which was perfect for my size. <laughs> it was quite big and then we headed towards the valley of the five lakes. Now let me tell you I felt that the hike, wow that was my phone, that the hike was a bit difficult. Like look how steep that is. If you don't have proper hiking shoes like I didn't, you could easily easily skip, um, slip. Uh, so it was, it was a little difficult in my opinion. Um, but it was so worth it. Like, look how beautiful the lakes are. This is the first lake that we saw. And after I saw that, I was like, wow, that is beyond something I can explain to someone. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is the second or the third one. Yeah, but the moth are walking. In the valley of the five lakes. And Mr. Imad Kahabad, <laughs> We're behind you, dude. Where are you from? Where are you from? Imad is very out of shape, so he's holding his... <sighs> yeah, right. I'm breath. holding her back. From yeah, with your stuff in it. Yeah, right. But I am excited to go down there, which... Okay, there's a big, steep hill now. So after the valley of, five, of the five lakes, we headed towards Jasper Sky Tram. Um, it took... They took us 
up from the cable car. It was really cold outside, so we didn't stay outside for too long. And honestly, the cafe is overhyped upstairs, um, up there, not upstairs. <laughs> so don't consider eating that. And um, there were not that many people in the cable car, but they, I think they were still a bit more than they should be. After the Sky Tram, we went home, had lunch, rested, and we had a tour booked um, for Athabasca's Athabasca River rafting. This was so much fun. It was, we were lucky we got really nice weather too because the water is chilly, so obviously you'll be cold. And September was chilly, but the sun was hitting us and it was perfect. And our tour guide, the guy who was rafting, we didn't really do anything other than sit and enjoy. He did an amazing job and he was really knowledgeable just about Jasper. So I highly recommend a rafting tour. It's very safe. Um, after we were done, we went home, rested for a couple hours, and then we had, and it was quite late. Um, not many places are open late there. So we found this place called something else, Jasper. The food was very mediocre. The place was very mediocre, nothing, nothing fancy, but it was probably the only place that was open and um, that's all we had. Uh, so the next day we headed uh, towards um, Banff, I think. And on the way to Banff, we saw Athabasca Falls and then we saw Sunwapta Falls, I think they're called. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if that's the right <laughs> video because I don't have it, I have it written down what I did, but I don't remember the video. <laughs> and then we headed towards Banff, we saw the Athabasca glaciers, we stopped at some viewpoints, the drive is absolutely gorgeous. There are bathrooms on the way, that brown shed you saw was a bathroom. Um, here I am, we stopped over at the glacier. We didn't really go up to the glacier, just kind of took pictures around it. It was cold, so thank God I had my earmuffs. And we took lots of pictures, um, so forth. After there, then we uh, continued our route to Banff, and we saw this beautiful lake called Bow Lake. And I think that is my favorite lake. It was absolutely gorgeous. And since we arrived really early at in Bam, we decided to go to Lake Louise. And it was great because it was not super crowded. But here it is, the famous Lake Louise. Um, very beautiful, very gorgeous. The water is lighter color here than the other blues, like you'll see. Um, kind of a lot of people here. Um, then we checked into Rimrock Hotel, um, which faces the mountains. Obviously, that's why it's called Rimrock. Really nice hotel. I highly recommend it. The, um, the bed was so comfortable. Seriously, it was so comfortable. And the rooms were huge. Um, this is the next day at the breakfast table. Holy, this video is going really fast. <laughs> So after that, because we went to Lake Louise the day before, we headed towards Lake Emerald and we also canoed here. You can see from this angle, the lake doesn't look blue and it's just certain angles where the lakes look more blue, um, but it is definitely clear water. You can look down and you will see the water is very clear. It's very deep as well. Some The guy told me it's 100 feet down, but I don't know. It was so serene there. Um, I had so much fun canoeing. And then after that, we headed towards Lake Moran. Um, equally beautiful lake. This probably is also one of my favorite lakes. Um, the, the views are gorgeous. The water was really cold, um, super blue from the top. But like when you look on eye level, it's not that blue, but it is clear glacier water. After that, we had lunch, I think, and then we headed towards Lake Miniwanka. This actually was a cruise, so it was a guided tour, and I also recommend it if you have some time on your, on, on, on your trip to check it out because it's actually a fun tour. Um, so it was like an hour and an hour and a half. Um, after that, we saw some elks. Oh, we also saw a black bear, which I'm going to put towards the end of the video. Uh, then we headed home, rested, and booked a reservation for Chuck's Roadhouse. Delicious, delicious food. Um, this is in Banff Village. And then here we are on day five where we're heading towards Vancouver. So it's our last day. This is a trip to Sulphur Mountain. Sulphur Mountain was actually five minutes away, literally, from um, Rim Rock. And here's me and my husband posing, pretending like no one's taking our video. But clearly we are, know that we're being filmed. What a beautiful view. 
Um, a good walk, great for the morning. You can also hike up there, but we took the cable car. Um, so I really like this too. Um, my whole family kind of walked up. There was more space to walk around on the top of the mountain. And then we headed towards Vancouver. Uh, we stopped over in Revelstoke. If you haven't seen my TikTok videos, make sure you check it out. I'll link it in the uh, description below. But they have a roller coaster in between the mountains. And it's a lot of fun and a good break because uh, the, the drive is very long from Banff to Vancouver. And we also stopped over at this place called Dutchman Dairy, which was in a, in a small town. I'll probably link it below. Um, the, the ice cream was really delicious. And they also have lactose free ice cream if you're interested. Um, we stayed over at Kelowna because, like I said, the drive is 10 hours. So we st slept over at Kelowna. What a cute town. I really like Kelowna. Uh, we had dinner at Cactus Club and it was so nice. So here's the hotel tour. And then we headed, um, it was day six, headed towards Vancouver. We arrived at Vancouver and realized there's so much air pollution because the forest fire in, in, in Washington. Uh, we stayed at the Fairmont waterfront. Um, here is the view. Uh, the first day was not that bad, but the second day was really horrible. You could not breathe outside. Um, I didn't want to be outside, and Vancouver is known for like trees, mountains, and fresh air. However, we still did the touristy things. We went to the bridge, we went to Mount Stanley Park. I rode a uh, electric bike for the first time, and I really liked it. Oh my god, my camera is falling. Uh, we went to so many different restaurants and cafes, tried Medina Cafe, which is super famous. And here is day seven, which I was heading back to Toronto, and look at the, look at the, um, air there's so much pollution this is actually an hour later you can see the mountains it actually looks really pretty here's me and my husband saying bye bye thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you get to travel to alberta it's beautiful and please subscribe to my channel so i can make more videos for you